Okay. This is a country flame wood pellet stove. We use Lignetics pellets. I just want to show you how I start this thing up every day. First thing I do is I turn on the blower on the side over here. Let's see, we have the pellets full. Let's grab a handful of pellets. Probably can't see inside this box too well. I'll try to zoom in. There's the box. And I just kind of in the middle. Hopefully you can see that. Kind of in the middle. Okay. Get our matches. And our gel fire starter. I'll show you how I do this too. It's a little dark and it's kind of hard to see this, but I just give it a light coat. That uh, maybe a few more pellets in there. Just a light coat. And up here, I just pop the lid right there. Other side of the lid there. Matches. Usually grab two. Could use a lighter. I just like to use the matches because I can start it and then throw the matches in there, and it seems to kind of help the flame. Now, the tricky part is. How do we keep this thing going? Because these things have a tendency to go out. Underneath here is a valve that shuts and opens. I make sure it's open to begin with, pulling it out, out towards me. And I'll show you how I do this. The glass has been cleaned so I can see through as good as possible. I usually will bring the, the door shut almost to the shut position and what that does is it creates that vacuum in there for the flames to kind of progress to get bigger. If it seems like it's going to put it out I'll pull the door back open a little bit to let the flames kind of come a little bit more. And it's hard to see with this lighting but there it's a box so you see it's not very strong so I shut the door it creates a little bit of a vacuum there if I go too far I'll snuff it but just right it kind of gets that stuff going while that's happening I'll show you the side here we have the, the side of the box here we have the fan button and the pellet button show you how I use those in a second. So we already have this turned on. We have the valve down below here pulled out. And now I have the pellet slit and growing that flame. And I'll kind of play with this. So sometimes I'll kind of get a little more shut. You can see the flame kick up. That's a good sign. We want those to start getting embered and hot in there before we start to put more pellets on there. So that's kind of kicking up the fire a bit. You see what will happen if I undo it. Still got some good fire, but it's not as pushed. We want it to be getting active like that.
that air is moving through the pellets. And because the door's cracked up here, it's creating that uh, like a side suction and that's kind of stoking that the pellets and keeping them going. Two years ago we unplugged it, unplugged this pellet stove and cleaned out the the uh, the fan on the lower left side over here. It was covered with you know 25 years worth of dust we never we were having problems with keeping this thing running and going and we never had cleaned that and didn't know we needed to do that but my brother and I got in there and cleaned it out and it was tricky to get back in there but we got it out and it was covered like a fan in your house if you don't clean it periodically it is gross and we replaced it and all of our problems were fixed the blower was blowing really good after that and the, the blower that blows out the, the air out here, blowing really good. So it had something to do with all of that. Um, and it was, there was a, the, uh, like the overheating function stopped. It was overheating. It just wasn't working well. And so doing that made a big difference. So periodically go through your pellet stove and help it clean it out. So those pellets are looking, they're glowing and they're looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and start the, pellet drop started at one and just let pellets start to start to drop in there there it goes the first rack go ahead and tighten this down I can see that the flame is going really good right now so I want the pellets to start filling that catch basin so that they can start catching on fire and just get this whole process going If it wasn't hot enough at this point, pellets dropping on top of them would be stifling the flame and putting them out. So the, pe the pellets that I did first, they're all glowing really hot down below. And so whatever comes down on top of it now should be able to catch on quickly. And I can see by how the flame, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I can see by how the flame is blasting, kind of like a blowtorch right now that it's working really well things are going good I'm gonna go ahead and down here on the the vent down below I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off and that makes kills the air from down below to coming into that box and that helps it burn hotter too looking good I think I want to start putting more pellets in there now to really get this going and I'll turn on the blower on the side over here blower's right here are the uh, pellets sorry the blower down, down on the very bottom turn all the way up on high if you go all the way to the right it'll be a low blow nice and quiet but if you turn it up, all the way high. One more click and it's off. But a click and just leave it right there. That's the high setting. The pellets, I'm gonna turn up to level four. You should stop, start dropping quite a bit. And this thing will be good for the rest of the day until we shut it off. We got a lot of storms coming right now lost our power today so this won't work if you don't have power to get this thing started and uh, if you lose power it will shut itself off too so it's kind of a bummer but that's how you start a country flame pellet stove I'm not sure how old this thing is at least 30 years old that's it thanks for watching if you like this video press the like button subscribe and leave me some comments and uh, questions, anything about this, and I'll get back to you. See ya.